I was here 20 years ago doing virtually the same thing. But that was a different fight, a different struggle, but virtually the same people who were running the government. Then, as well as me, we had free education. We had grants. We were even allowed to claim hedging benefit during holidays. <laughs> yeah. And all of this now has been taken away. We also fought long and hard against the implementation of loans. That, of course, we were again defeated, unfortunately. And so, therefore, it has now come back then to you to actually start, if you like, again, the fight against the people who are trying to turn education, which is for virtually everybody in society, to yet again to be the preserve of the rich. Now, a lot of you might think about going to teach when you leave here. Well, <laughs> some of you. But... <laughs> There's a good reason probably for that. We ourselves are currently under severe attack and severe pressure from the government as well. Teaching, I'm sure you have heard, is now really the serious, most serious attack is coming under about pensions. We are going to have a situation where we're going to have to increase the amount of contributions we make on our own salary. We're going to have to work longer as everybody else is, to 66, 67 maybe in some cases. And we have a situation where they're going to be freezing and have frozen the basic pay of all teachers in the country. This, if you want to go into the teaching profession, is something that's actually waiting for you. Also, since it's been announced today, they're actually looking to move the goalposts of the, of the regime about what's actually qualifying as a failing school. What they actually really mean is, you're a failing teacher. And they're moving that now from roughly 20% of schools, which they're actually looking at, to 35 they're also thinking about changing the training regime to not only allow people who are basically going into training for teachers, but also they're actually just basically letting people who are qualified army officers to actually come into the classroom and basically take control because they're worried about the discipline of children within the classroom. It's true, I was listening to it on today. God knows what they're going to do, to be truthful with you, they're used to people actually kind of like doing exactly what they say, and when they clear they came to my school, they get murdered. Oh dear, how's that? Never mind. But, with all that, the NUT, I don't know if you've heard, the NUT is itself balloting for strong. We are going to... We're also trying to get other teaching unions to come out in solidarity with us on that day. And we're also trying to get other unions in the public services to also join that day so we can turn that day not only to an NUT day of action, but we're looking at general strike. Yeah. <laughs> Saying that, it's really good to see all of you today. It's really good to be here. It's great to see there's so much enthusiasm. And thank God, once more, students are revolting. Yeah.